as you can see this is I'm not even sure how many times I've tried to do this live this morning but I'm determined and so with that being said as I stopped on our last live preferably I'm in a spot I've moved around I've driven into an, to another location there's just been a whole bunch of stuff going on to try to get this sharing Saturday live done <laughs> so as I was saying before I've gotten cut off where I don't even know the count at this point but it's a blessing to be able to have love and support from people and businesses all over but the blessing giving back is that you can support them as well and the post that I posted this morning from the nonprofit that I um took from their post and reshared it and reposted should I say it is so powerful to what I say on sharing Saturdays all the time and that's just that if you can't donate if you cannot if you cannot um, donate a dollar a day if you cannot donate financially at all use your power of sharing it's sharing Saturday and I always say share 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 on your social media pages it takes nothing not one cent one coin to share our our Facebook or Instagram profiles to your news feeds or your friends that follow you it takes nothing to um, say are you childhood cancer aware and tag at Black Williams or the Caleb Solomon Williams Foundation. It takes not one cent to do various things that the post said today to just be of support. What love is, is giving back and doing for others. Sometimes, a lot of times, you are going to have to give until it hurts or give to someone who can never repay you back. And it's not always financial. Maybe it's going to the grocery store and shopping for other people and just dropping things off. Um, the seniors that I do, that I deal with, and I do that too, they are so excited when I show up at their door. I call them and just have a conversation with them, making sure they're home. And then next thing you know, I'm popping up at the door with bags of groceries and non-perishable things that they can use at their homes. So I think that the, um, the message from the post that I posted that I saw and then reposted was definitely um, powerful to me because my spirit always says that if you have never supported our organization we've been in existence for seven years we're going to, we're trailblazing to our eighth year anniversary in 2021 and how many of you who know me personally we're not gonna talk about those who see the lives who know me personally, know my heart, know my fight, my push, who knew Caleb personally, teachers, um, that you've never donated $1 to our organization. And even if you cannot, have never shared it to your Facebook or your Instagram page. I wanna get, I wanna get you guys thinking this, this sharing Saturday, um, not just about the funds. And I tell people, when I do radio shows last Sunday, um, my radio um, interview aired. And, and and what I always say when I'm doing any speaking engagement or anything is just that, are you aware of childhood cancer? Because if you're not aware of childhood cancer, how would you be aware of childhood cancer foundations like myself and many of them that are here locally that support and help families who are affected by childhood cancer? If you're not aware of childhood cancer, then how will you know what the need is to support them? And so on Sharing Saturday, that's my that's my skill for today. What are you doing to support and share the, the businesses and the organization that you know of? And I'm talking to personal, my, the people who know me personally, whether it's businesses that I help um, manage, whether it's my family, my bloodline family. I talk to my children all the time about our family and the support that is given versus the support that is not giving and um, my church family who absolutely loves me um, St. Mark AME Orlando my pastor Terrence Gray um, he's always an advocate when we were in church this time of year he lets us set up tables throughout our um, July festivities with the 5k he has us he lets us set up tables pass out literature he's always um very supportive and so we're thankful for him as a pastor because growing up um, my home church nor the church i went to as i got to be an adult no one ever talked about kids cancer 
anywhere you go, if you're in a church or even in businesses, you hear typically about breast cancer. You don't hear about colon cancer. You don't hear about prostate cancer. It's just a lot of cancers and things that you don't hear about. Um, people are definitely aware of October, which is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But someone said to me the other day, I didn't even know kids, kids cancer had a month. And I said, yeah, it's right before breast cancer, September. <laughs> and so right now, typically if you're going in stores in September, you'll see stores pinked out. If you don't see Christmas and Halloween stuff going up or already up, you see pink everywhere because they're already pre preparing in September for October. And that's one of my things. We support all cancers, adult and children's cancer, but we just want the world to be fair when it's September to just like they rock out and go pink turn the world pink for breast cancer we want them to rock out with us and turn the world gold for 30 days in September um, these children and families go through so much they miss so much of life and living in and out of hospitals and doing chemo and doing radiation and getting shot and having procedures done and all of that stuff so we just want you to take a moment this sharing Saturday, really dig down deep in your heart and say, um, what can I do to help? If it's financial, great. We we absolutely will, will, will love it 3000% if it's financial. But if it's not and it's just sharing, and of course, um, Facebook and Instagram notifies us if you share the page or tag us in the page. So if it's just sharing our um, Facebook or Instagram page saying are you aware or tagging it on your on your profiles and saying are you aware of childhood cancer that's sharing at its finest and trust me I the president will be elated probably 10,000 percent because guess what you took time to educate someone or ask someone the question are you aware of childhood cancer it doesn't matter if one person responds out of your four i see you know some of you guys have four and five thousand people following your page or friends that are on your page if you impact one person out of those two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand people on your page for all of you guys who like us who like our comments and all of that stuff how powerful would it be for you to share those posts that we have that you like don't just like it but go a step further and share it on your social media page that would be amazing and then we'll and then oh we will have a world where we're not everyone is not going to be aware of childhood cancer it's going to have to um come but you're doing your part to help raise awareness 365 where you live where you work and where you play the important part to sharing saturday is this I don't live where you live. I don't work where you work. I don't attend church where you attend church. So I always say, if you look at our flyers um, for our annual childhood cancer 5K, we've made our flyer the same each and every year. So for one, you get used to seeing it. When you see the flyer, you know it's time for their annual childhood cancer 5K. But then we have a hand that's on there and it asks you, is your church aware? Is your fraternity or sorority aware? Whatever, it just gives you different questions on who's aware. So in your church, if you guys celebrate in October, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, how about take it a step further and be educated and celebrate children's cancer, childhood cancer, pediatric cancer, whatever you guys wanna call it, Awareness Month in September. Do your part to make a difference. Um, we share because we care about not just our own businesses and organizations flourishing, but the lives of the people who take time to invest in us. And I can start calling names and businesses, but I know from my heart that I, I, my brain would miss a whole bunch of people. But I'm so overwhelmingly blessed to be able to have the team that um, we have that supports my vision that pushes me to push them to the limits and yes they're complaining about these squats <laughs> but we're gonna push it through we're on day 12 today is a rest day so starting back up tomorrow we're definitely gonna push it through we're gonna make 
change happen. We're gonna continue to change the lives of everyone we impact one smile at a time, not just our families that are affected by childhood cancer, but those who support us and that we support them back. We absolutely love every person who's ever donated to our call, supported us, came out to events, um, shared on our on their Facebook or Instagram post. This is what life is all about, giving back. If you don't wake up in the morning, you see how determined I was? I think I tried to get on live about six times this morning. I only I think I posted two out of the six failures, but let me tell you, see how determined I am in life. I get up every morning with a heart and a mind to say, how can I make someone smile today? How can I make someone else's day better? And so on this Sherry Saturday, if you have not joined in on us on our dollar a day challenge, on our squat challenge, on our meal match challenge, Accept my Sharing Saturday challenge today and do just that. Share our Caleb Solomon Williams BLAC Foundation's um, Facebook page, as well as our website, as well as our Instagram. We start loading our videos on our YouTube channel. Um, we're just super excited. Um, share our different ways to donate there on our page. We have PayPal, we have Zelle, we have Cash App. We have, uh, you can mail your donation in with a check or money order, cashier's check. There are so many different ways. We have Amazon Smile. Um, what, have, what did I miss? Did I say Zelle? <laughs> we have so many different ways that you can support us. For all of you people who um, shop on Amazon, you can click on our Amazon, our Amazon Smile link and it'll open up right to your page and um, consider making us it, um, your charity of choice. And so when you shop, Amazon gives back to us. How amazing is that? You think that you always have to do it financially, but guess what? You can shop, 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 and Amazon will give, give, give to those don't um, to those products that you shop for that are eligible. So that's another way that you can give back to us. But again, share this year, 2020. Some of our um, visions that we were going to start doing on this year, we have not been able to do because of social distances, but we wanted to start doing um, monthly care packages to a family a month. And because, you know, there's so much going on, we're unable to, we were unable to do that. But we're still getting those things together and getting them aligned up for 2021. I speak a new a new day for 2021 for not just our organization but for all of those who are out here making it happen all of those people who are doing their part to help other people i see um i i, I said you know 2020 we talked about 2020 is is that vision it's giving you vision to see most people would love to have 2020 vision as you see i'm not there anymore when it comes to reading because i have my glasses on <laughs> <laughs> I can see where I'm going, but I need my glasses. So even in this year of 2020, where there's um, vision, we, we talk, we think of it as vision or having clear vision. Or I'm asking you that somebody showing off. So excuse me, I'm out in the, I'm out in the open. So they want to show their engine or something off today. So I guess that's their sharing Saturday moment. But anyways. Um, when you think about 2020 vision, don't think about COVID and all the negative that it's had. With your 2020 um, this year, think about how you can impact someone else, how you can change the lives of somebody to help and be better. Whether it's somebody in your neighborhood, somebody at your job, how can you put a smile on somebody else's face? This 2020, seeing clearly is not always um, just by sight. Use your heart to see more clearly, see 2020 vision in other people. Find the good. I always say, find the positive in everything. Even if it's, even if you feel like there's nothing positive in the situation, find the positive in every situation and everything that happens in life. So on this sharing Saturday, I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you. Yeah, we have our week one and week two challenges going on. Yes, every Tuesday we have our $7, um, $7 challenge going on. But this 
Saturday, this sharing Saturday, I'm challenging you to use your 2020 vision. Find those things that you can do to help support other people, not just our organization, but organizations all across the land where you live in your communities. Find some seniors that you can help out um, during this time that can't get out to the grocery store and all of that stuff. But we want you to be um, empowered. We want you to empower other people. We want you to be a change agent where you live, work, and play every single day. So I'm super excited. I'm determined after about five or six tries. I'm standing out in the sun, which if you know me, I sweat and I don't like heat. <laughs> Oh, I know that getting out of the car, feeling this fresh breeze, I'm thankful for one. I'm absolutely, absolutely loving this breeze that's coming through, even though the sun is shining on me. Um, even though my filter that I was trying to use, as you guys know, on Instagram and Facebook Live, I try to find filters to do. And this is not the one that I wanted, but guess what? It's the one that's working. So I'm excited for that. So again, um, our week one and two challenges are out for our September National Childhood Cancer Awareness. If you have not put on anything gold and tagged us in it, make sure you do that starting today, day 12 throughout day 30. I don't have on anything gold, but I do have a gold ribbon. If you are with me, they're riding around with me, so I'll grab one and put it on. Um, <laughs> so once I put my shirt on, then I will put my ribbon on and proceed with my morning. I'm thankful um, just to be able to do this sharing Saturday live. I'm thankful for friends, family, near and far. Um, and I know that it's a lot going on, but again, be selfless as I always say. Don't think about what it's gonna cost you. Think of the cost that it is to be a blessing to somebody else where you live, work, or play. Um, paces I was thinking about you guys last night and I said I know it's time for me to call you know I do the calling first most of the time because life is so busy so hope everybody down there on your end in Arcadia is doing good love you guys miss you tell Nike I said hey but um make sure you guys are sharing sharing where do you get your hair done if it's a good place if it's a good space where you get your nails done um, where do you go to church at? Whatever it is that you um, support, if it's healthy, if it's positive, share those businesses with other people because at the end of the day, word of mouth is way more important and it gets out faster than these social media posts. Sometimes when you have four and 5,000 different friends on your page, you're missing a lot of information or you don't see it two days later or until you go on the, that person's page to see it. So that's why word of mouth is always good. That's why if you're sharing it to your page or profile, those businesses and organizations, then other people will be able to see them. So again, I'm challenging you to take up this sharing Saturday's mantle and just share those businesses and organizations that you support and that support you. If you follow us, we have about I want to say, oh, I want to say about 1,200 people on this page, about 600 people on our Instagram page. I'm not sure how many people have seen our YouTube channel. I'm not sure how many people have visited or viewed our website. But all of those people who have taken time to make donations, who have taken time to sh um, support us, who have bought any of our BLAC gear, who have done anything to support us, we're asking you to take it a step further today and share on your Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, whatever you have, social media, share about Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, share about the Caleb Solomon Williams BLAC Foundation, and remember, BLAC is Caleb's name spelled backwards, and it simply stands for Believe Every Life Acquires a Cure. I'm out because I've been on live for a couple probably like over an hour with all the hiccups that kept going until I had to get out and and be determined to talk to you guys in the sun so even in that and I think on my on the post I put determined before I click I said let me find a feeling <laughs> and determined popped up and that's where I was today determined to make this sharing Saturday live happen 
determined to speak a word of encouragement to you all to share others organizations and businesses determined to say have a sharing saturday we're almost to 2021 don't give up now because of COVID 19 and all of the things you may have lost if you've lost family members loved ones friends um neighbors to COVID 19 our condolences go out to you but don't let that grief that you have stop you from being greater or being a support to those people who are still here grieve your family and friends remember their priceless moments that you've shared or were able to share with them while they were here and make sure you just know that before I close. It's Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. It's Sickle Cell Awareness Month. It's Alopecia Awareness Month. So trust me, there are so many different organizations and things that you can share or that you can become aware of. September is not just set aside for childhood cancer awareness. It's numerous different um, awareness things that go on find those google what all goes on in the month of september and um make plans to just keep yourself aware of the things that are happening every single month um in 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 this year is almost gone but make sure you you know keep up with october september october november december things that are aware things that you can be aware of and help raise awareness to so be blessed have a spectacular Saturday <laughs> and don't forget to share. We love you at the foundation. Have an amazing day.